Hello, I'm Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the Movie Picks Guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And today we want to look at doing some basic editing of DVD or Blu-ray disc or movie menu templates in Photoshop Elements, using Photoshop Elements to modify the templates that you use in Premiere Elements. Now, as most of you know, in our book, The Movie Picks Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements Together, we do dedicate an entire chapter or a section of a chapter on how to do these modifications in depth, but there are some simple modifications you can learn pretty simply in this tutorial, and that's what I hope to show you here. Now, the hardest thing is going to be finding these templates. If you're using version 11 or later, Adobe has kind of hidden these templates away. I'll show you where they're at. Now, the biggest challenge is that the templates themselves, the PSD files, the key files that you want to edit, aren't downloaded to your computer until you use them in Premiere Elements. Okay, so they're only one, maybe two templates that come stock, already installed when you install the program. The rest come down as needed. So if you want to modify your template, you have to make sure that you've installed it, you've downloaded it first. Go into Premiere Elements, open a project, and actually load one of the menus in that you plan to modify. Now in this case, I've done that with the Wedding Doves template, and we'll grab that one and we'll do some modifications of that. Let me show you where the templates are located. We'll open this up. Now, uh, I am using a Windows 7 computer on a Mac, so it's Boot Camp. That's why my C drive is called Boot Camp. Yours could be just called C or whatever it is you called your drive. But we want to go into the Program Data folder, go to Adobe, go to Premiere Elements, 11, Online, DVD templates, all languages, and there are your categories of templates. In this particular case, we're going to go to Slideshow, and there is our Wedding Doves template. If you are on a Mac, I'll show you where that's located. You go to your hard drive on your Mac, go to Library, Application Support, and from there on out, it's the same as on the PC. You go to Adobe, Premiere Elements, version 11, online, DVD templates, all languages, and there are your categories. So the main difference there is out at the beginning, you go to um, your application data rather than your program data, but the path is very, very similar. So let's go back to our PC. I'm just gonna go back into program data and go into Adobe, Premiere Elements, version 11, online, DVD templates, all languages, and in my slideshow category, there are my wedding doves. Now, you will see whenever you look into a template, you'll see a lot of these little PNG files. Don't worry about these. They're not a necessary part of the template itself. The key elements of the template are right here. They are the PSD files. Those are the things that we can modify in Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. And there may also be, depending on the template, there may also be, in this case, an SWF. That's a background motion, some kind of video motion. There's an MP3. That means there's music in the background of this particular template. There may be an MPEG. There may be some other motion going on. That's not a key part of the template itself, but it adds animation or sound to the template. The templates, you know, come in pairs. Both of them, if you look at the end, you'll see there's MM and SMs. Those are main menus and scene menus. And to the left of that, you'll notice that there is either a W for widescreen, an S for standard 4x3 video, or an HD for a high def menu. If you see this PAL here, don't worry about that. That's an artifact from the days when they used to have separate menu templates for PAL and for NTSC video. They all use the PAL now, so don't worry about that. But we're going to open up here the scene menu for Wedding Doves standard definition, standard 4x3. So we'll open that up in Photoshop Elements. Now, one thing I want you to notice, if you look over in the Layers palette, you will see a whole bunch of little folders inside the Layers palette. Those are called Layer Sets. They're a function of Photoshop Pro, and they're editable in Photoshop Pro. They may or may not be editable in Photoshop Elements, and that's very frustrating if you're trying to edit your template in Photoshop Elements. On, some, on one of my computers, I can get in there, and I can do that. On this particular computer, which is more powerful than my other computer, for some reason, I'm locked out of them. Let's jump over to the other computer quickly and I'll show you what's inside those folders. 
All right, here I am on my other computer. Now, I don't know why on this particular computer I do have access to my layer sets and my other computer I do not. It has just something to do with the way they use the resources. I've got exactly the same version of Photoshop Elements open on both computers. We're looking at exactly the same template. But on this one, you'll notice next to each of the layer set folders, I have a little toggle that I can use to open the layer set. And here I can edit the individual elements of the layer set. Now, every layer set folder represents a navigation element or a block of text on your menu template. So in this particular case, the scene six thumbnail and the whole navigation element for scene six is included in this folder. And if I toggle it open, you can see that uh, under this double peak sort of folder, if I open that up, I have support for 14 different languages. So if I were to modify this template, I would make sure that I was modifying also the language that I was going to use the template in. In addition, I have three graphic elements is my highlight, which in this case is the white square around the outside of the thumbnail. And you can see when I turn that off, you can see that the white highlight disappears. That is going to be the highlight when somebody mouses over or navigates to that particular element on the uh, DVD menu. There's also, I'm going to turn off that highlight so you can see there's also a frame around there. That's a graphic element around that little thumbnail. And then finally, there is the gray area here, which is the thumbnail itself. That's where your video would appear. If you had a scene menu here, the little thumbnail for your video is going to appear right inside that little square there. So those are the elements that represent the navigation here for scene six. And you could get really deep into this if you had the full version, the professional version of Photoshop, or if your version of Photoshop Elements in your computer allows you to get in there, as mine does here, and modify those individual elements, you can do that. But regardless, you do have access to down here where it says additional and background, no matter what computer you're working on when you open your DVD template. And those are the things that we're going to modify in this particular exercise. And when we come back in part two of this tutorial, we'll take a look at how we actually do modify our movie menu templates. So if you join me for part two of modifying movie menu templates in Photoshop Elements.